Thank you for joining us this Wednesday, the 8th of December. I'm Sophia Mavridis, a market analyst with Bell Direct. We yesterday the market closed higher with a, uh, for the third straight session, advancing 0.95%. Apart from utilities, every other sector moved higher. Energy led the gains, rising more than 2%. Points Bet Holdings, PBH, gained almost 10%. Tech stocks rebounded with Zipco, Z1P and Nearmap NEA uh, and Tyro Payments, TYR, all making the top 10. Travel stocks also rebounded as investors grow more confident that the new COVID Omicron variant won't have a devastating impact. Corporate travel management, CTD and Flight Center, FLT, made the leaderboard posting gains of over 5% while Qantas and Webjet also moved higher. And Magellan Financial Group, MFG, was the worst performer yesterday after news that their CEO, Brett Cairns, will be leaving the company after 14 years. And some of the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients yesterday included major banks Macquarie, CBA, Westpac and ANZ, as well as Magellan Financial Group. U.S. equities rallied overnight and all three major benchmarks closed in the green. The Dow Jones gained 1.4 percent, the S&P 500 gained 2 percent, and the Nasdaq had its best day since March, gaining 3 percent, while tech, with tech stocks leading the market higher for a second day. Now looking to the day ahead, following New York, the ASX 200 is set to rise 0.3 percent at the open this morning, going by the SPY futures. Tech stocks are are likely to do well today following the tech rally in the US and NAB, the National Bank of Australia, may be under pressure as they face court action. The Financial Services Union is taking the bank to federal court amid claims that their staff are overworked. Now looking to commodities, the oil price is trading more than 3% higher at 71 US dollars a barrel, extending a rebound in the previous session amid uh, eased concerns of the Omicron variant and the impact on global growth and fuel demand. Gold is currently higher, above 1,780 US dollars an ounce, and the seaborne iron ore price is trading over 4% higher at 108 US dollars a tonne. Now, as for some trading ideas to consider, Bell Potter maintained their buy rating on the A2 milk company, A2M, with a $7.70 price target. They say EPS could double by FY26 if the company can execute on the China offline expansion strategy while recovering a 50% sales loss for FY20 to 21 in English label infant milk uh, formula. Uh, A2 Milk is also a city and UBS buy and the stock closed yesterday at $5.61, implying 37.3% share price growth in a year. And that's all for this morning. I'm Sophia Mavridis with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.